Alright, so today I'm going to be starting some Kirby Star Allies. I haven't played this game since it first came out, which I think was 2018. And I thoroughly enjoyed it when it came out. I thought it was way better than uh, Epic Yarn or Return to Dreamland, which... Epic Yarn I didn't play a whole lot of. It. I really just did not give a shit about that game. For some reason, it just never clicked with me. Return to Dreamland was fine. I still liked uh, Crystal Shards above it. And this one, this is probably my favorite 3D console, like home console Kirby game. I know a lot of people don't like it for some reason. It's too easy or short or whatever. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I just kind of felt in the mood to start this before Mario 3D Collection comes out. I don't know why. I was just like, eh, I haven't touched this in a long time and I remember having fun with it. This animation is very nice. I will, I will forever give merit to Hal for some unknown reason and ability. They have been able to put out Kirby for so long, and it basically be the same game, but it never gets boring. I don't know how they do it. Maybe it's just Kirby's. Well, truthfully, it is just because Kirby's good. <laughs> Kirby is a fun game series. If you hear a dog barking in the background, there is one barking in the background, so I don't know if my mic is able to pick that up or not. I hope not, because it's soundproof, but, uh, sure. Yeah, this is my original file. I did pretty... I did a lot of stuff in it. But I haven't touched this game in probably two years at this point. So let's start a new game. Just start with the story mode, I guess. I only plan on doing the story mode, none of the side stuff. I gotta say, the CG for this intro is phenomenal. This is very nice. I wonder when we're going to get Kirby games that actually look like this, in terms of graphics. Probably not for a long time. World of Peace, Dreamland. The one thing I really do like about this game as well, uh, aside from the gameplay and the levels and all that, is the overworld map. Is I love this map. It's a 3D open world map. It reminds me of uh, Mario 3D World for the Wii U, but not as... It makes sense for Kirby to me. With Mario, I expect more of like an actual hub world. This is fantastic, though. Mario 3D World's map, I find, a ki I find kind of annoying just because I want it to be an actual 3D hub and not something like this. But with Kirby, it's fine. This this works well. Man, these graphics do actually still look really good for the system. Not that the Switch is old or anything, it's just there. When you play through Pokemon Shield and, uh... 
you play that for two months, your expectations of graphics for the Switch kind of go down a bit. He's got a bomb! Kirby, what you gonna do? Press X. You are now my friend. I have given you a heart. I forgot about this heart mechanic. That's the thing, it's been two years, so I've started to kind of forget some of the mechanics of this game already, and this game still feels pretty new to me in retrospect, but in reality, it's not. Heck, I've played r through Red Dead Redemption 2 since this came out, and... Jeez, what else have I played? I've played so many games since this has come out. The fact that this is two years old to me is already like... Man, time flies! It's just hitting me now that it's been about two years since I played a Kirby that Kirby game then. Cause I'm pretty sure this was the last one I've played. to do the bomb first. Uh... Oh! Okay, that's how I do that. I, yeah, I'm forgetting some of the mechanics of this game. I don't know why I was thinking I was supposed to, like, turn into the Burning Leo. Like, start controlling it to do this. I forgot you can use them to give you power-up weapons, kind of like Kirby 64. And I'm also learning not to use the joystick for this. Don't use the analog joystick. Use the D-pad. It's a lot better. And I'm not going to go and collect every single collectible for this. Just because I've already done that before, and that took... I think two months. I think two months was when I went really hard on this game back then. Now give me the fruit. Thank you. Mini boss. Mr. Frosty! This is actually the first Kirby boss I've ever seen. I started up- my first Kirby game was Amazing Mirror. And, uh, you meet Mr. Frosty in the Haunted Mansion thing or whatever. In the... First area. Well, it's technically not the first area. The zones in Kirby Amazing Mirror are all kind of split up by specific... ...genre type things. But, uh, that's one of the first bosses you really see in that game. I always thought it was weird he slapped his ass. I know it's supposed to be, like, funny, or something like that, but it's just weird to me. It still is. It's, it's like, why the fuck are you slapping your ass to make ice? What kind of logic is that? 
How, please? Oh, okay. Two bombs. And uh, my joystick is lo lovely. I just called the Pro Controller a joystick. Now I'm 1983-ing uh, up my wordage here. I'd love to plug this in, but the switch for the cord is about 10 feet away from me, so the cord isn't long enough. It's over on my PC. Like, my switch is over on my PC, so it's just like, I'm sitting in the middle of my room playing on my TV, and I'm just like, uh, I really don't know how long this uh, Pro Controller is going to last then. But it just started going, so I assume for a little bit, if it, for some reason, dies, then I guess I'll just have to take the Joy-Cons off and use those. I rarely use my Joy-Cons nowadays. Last time I used the Joy-Cons, when was that for a game? It had to be Witcher 3 last year, because I played that game almost entirely in handheld. Oh, this is one of the best music tracks in the game. Uh, let's go back and investigate some of what we've kind of wrecked through. Because I do believe there are a few secrets kind of just chilling about. It doesn't really look like it, though. Nah. Not that I can see. Oh, time to run back through. Kind of breezing through this level with ice. I love Leo's uh, attempts at fighting fire with fire, but it's not going to work, man. Okay, I couldn't reach him. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for that. Thank you. Okay, so down here is the extras. Oh, I thought you were Rocky. Come on, Rocky. Thank you. Bonus area. Oh, music change.
There we go. Whoa, what was that move? Oh, if I double hit to the side and then attack, it does this ice boulder. Can I use that to get around this? No, no, no. I know what the game wants me to do. It doesn't work. Okay. We're a heck of a destructive force here. Okay. Rocky can't seem to get into position. There we go. Oh, I forgot the buttons from Amazing Mirror were in this. Dream Palace open. You pushed a big switch that opens the Dream Palace on the world map. Alright. Cool. It's so nice to see these again. I like these. These are part of my childhood. These stupid big pink switches. Yeah, this game incorporates a lot of different things from all the previous Kirby games, which is something that I find very nice. Number two. Let's go to the Dream Palace. You might meet legendary characters. The Dream Palace is now unlocked. Who's gonna be? Who am I gonna get today? Oh boy. I hope it's Meta Knight. Welcome to the Dream Palace. This is your Dream Palace. You can meet a Dream character here if you use the Dream Rod. When you grab the Dream Rod, the roulette will start. Press A to call a Dream Friend. Alright, who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Mana Knight? Is it gonna be DDD? Is it gonna be Waddle Dee? Who is it? Tell me now. Is it gonna be Mox? Or Gooey? It's gonna be the motherfucking Mox! The lunatic who looks kinda like Kirby but wants to kill everybody. Now who's gonna die? Ooh, we have a good roster here. We have Rocky, we have Burning Leo, and we have Poppy Brothers Jr. But who is the most valuable on the team? I'm thinking... 
Burning Leo is the most valuable, so it's between Rocky and Poppy Bros. He's dead. Marks, you did this. You killed him. Although I know you don't care because you're an insane, crazy jester. Kill jester. But Jingle is our friend. Kill jester. Look, mate. This, this is my story, right? I want to kill Jester. Now we got a yo-yo guy. Sizzle yo-yo. Okay, bud. Shoot me! Not gonna lie, playing this kind of makes me want to have a Kirby Air Ride 3. Or even just an HD update of it. For some reason, they haven't done that ever. I'll never understand Nintendo's reluctance to really do much with the GameCube library. Yeah, they're putting Sunshine out finally after, what, 18 years? It's been stuck on the GameCube? And it's finally being put onto the Switch? Just like, what's the deal, man? You have an entire console library that you don't really care to use a whole lot. And I'm not sure if it's because they think it's too new, but they sure love remastering and putting out Wii games and such. Kirby's Epic Yarn. Oh, Kirby. Kirby, uh, stuck. He got thick. I didn't realize I could eat things while in this ability state. We got the massive Waddle Dee. Oh. There goes Leo. Okay, Leo's back. All of you are about to die. <laughs> Those poor bastards. They recently just redid Xenoblade Chronicles. And heck, they put the entire library on the Wii U both uh, as a digital and if you had the physical copies, it could all work. So it's just like, they cared about the Wii. They did not give a single shit about the GameCube once that was over. Okay, we gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. Okay, I know that this is a fast one. As well. Get the key. I remember that- f I remember failing that the first time I played this game. That was not fun. Oh. 
I know, Switch, please leave me alone. I know that I'm low on battery. I like how I'm still getting like all the extra weird secret stuff when I initially said I'm not getting any of the secret stuff. I guess I'll just play it by ear. I'm not gonna 100% this game is probably the best way I'll say what I meant to say. I'm just gonna play the game. I'm gonna have fun. That's what I want. I wanna have fun. And I'm having fun so far. Marx is staring at me with his creepy beady eyes. Do again. There's more adventure to be found, an extra stage is now unlocked. The Extra Eclair. I can never not read Eclair, or see an Eclair without freaking thinking of Bobobo. -bo -bo. Because there's a stupid joke, it's a single panel in the manga, where the guy literally just says, did you steal my eclair? And it's super dramatic the way it's drawn, and it's the most dumbass thing. But god damn it! It stuck with me. And I can never not think of it if I ever see that stupid type of donut. I'm not really even reading the things in between the, uh, missions a whole lot. Oh, thanks, Leo. You're burning down the forest. That's lovely. Smokey's gonna be, uh, happy with you. I'm sure the state of California is as well. Oh, jeez. What is this? Oh, time to get it. Running. It can't get up here, can it? <laughs> I don't know what these Waddle Dees are doing, but... They're crazy. They're just having a good time. They're just palling around. Look at them. They're having fun. Let the lads have their fun. time. That's Gim. Well, no, I have Gim. I was looking at the wrong meter. It's bonkers. I was like, that name shouldn't be with this monkey.
Let's get rid of Leo. Vividra. Vividra. This ice ability has been very useful for me so far. Uh, sure. I guess I'll get rid of Gim. A Jim. However, that's supposed to be done. Jif, gif. We got a weird cast of characters for partners now. Hey, number one! Oh yeah. Break it down! Uh. Oh, some smooth moves. I didn't get the puzzle piece, though. Eh. Too bad. Oh, yes! No, 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 don't kill him! No, no, I want his ability. The whip is the best ability for me in this game. Oh, yeah, let's get Indiana Jones on this. Look at that range. Look at that range on that stupid whip. Let's go. Well, that was fun. Oh, weird. Uh, no, I'm actually pretty happy with what I had. I don't need to do anything weird with the team setup or anything right now. That's nice to know that that's a mechanic, though. Oh, is it Wispy? Are we already at Wispy? We are. How many times do I have to kill this tree? Seriously. I don't fully even understand why this tree is upset all the time at Kirby. What did Kirby do to Wispy Woods? Oh jeez. And he's massive now. Okay. That went pretty well. Oh, Kirby's little jig. Yes. And the heart uh, is going away.
If I recall, DDD is stereotypically the last boss of this area. Hi. Yeah, we're going to his castle. And we got a mini boss, Bugsy. Let's bring Bugsy along. Friend throw. <laughs> oh, that is a heck of a combo move. Mox, what are you doing? Guy just went into black hole mode. Wants to suck up the universe. This is a nice remix of the song. You guys handle the ones coming from the left. Or Bugsy will, I will. Well, I guess. Can you guys handle them, please? I know you guys want to, like, chill with me, but geez. You're here to help. This ain't some, this ain't some game night with the bros. Anything with oh, I can't even go down that way. I know this hallway. This is where you fight Sans. Mox, be prepared, because we're probably about to fight someone as equal to you in insanity and strength. Oh, this thing hurt Bugsy. I was like, what the heck? What's here that could hurt him? But yeah. I guess there are a few things that could. This is gonna be a stupid joke, and it's already been spoiled by myself, huh? But uh, I think we, uh... I think we killed too many of uh, DDD's minions. Okay. DDD, what's your deal, man? Well, he's got magenta eyes. 
Thanks, Switch. How about no? Jeez, he swole. He is swole and Kirby is whipping his ass. This is kinky shit I didn't want to have happen in a Kirby game, please. How? Why'd you make him Mr. Muscle Buff Cakes? I think Bonkers finished him off there. Thanks, man. Not so swole anymore, huh, man? <laughs> I forgot about this. <laughs> you fucking bastards. <laughs> That's good. That is fantastic. Oh, I love it. Go back. Yeah, reverse the VHS, please. Oh, that's great. I forgot that was a thing. There goes the heart. Ah, oh, I love that. I'll give him a clap. That was great. Onward. A rather underrated movie this year was Onward. I saw it. I talked about it when it came out and such, and I had seen it. That was the last movie I've seen in theaters, actually, since uh, before everything uh, hit the fan. So, yeah, I liked Onward. It was a good movie. It's not the best Pixar movie by any shot. Coco is way better, but... Uh, yeah, it was a it was a good uh, it's a it's a good comfort movie to me. It's a good movie I would watch just to kind of chill out. That that that's what I'd say about Onward. It's not too it's not thought provoking really. It's not too much. It's just kind of a chill movie to watch. World of Miracles, Planet Popstar. Chase the dark hearts across the world of miracles. Hold up to wield mighty friend abilities as Kirby and pals continue their journey of companionship across the vast seas and rolling hills. World of Peace, Dreamland, which I've already done, but I haven't read the description. A disaster of catastrophic proportions has occurred in this peaceful land. King Dedede has stolen all the food for himself. What a surprise. The nerve of that guy. Now Kirby must set out on a grand adventure with a new group of friends. I'll do a level or two in this. I'll do a couple levels, I guess. I've only been playing for like 40 minutes, so that's nothing. I thought uh, Dreamland was going to take me a lot longer than that. Here we go, guys, on a grand adventure across the cosmos. Is there anyone here who can burn things? Marx, I know you could if I gave you a lighter, but we're not letting you have that, you psychopath. Whoa, I don't remember those enemies. What are these things? Oh, huh. They're pretty tough to withstand this many hits. Oh! 
I forgot. Uh, I think his name is Rin. God, I forget the name of him. But he's from Kirby 3, and Kirby 3 is my favorite Kirby, and I haven't played it in probably a decade at this point. Come on, go down. Kirby, go down. I guess I can't. I'm a doofus. I can go down here. There it is. So I can't... The logic of Kirby... I don't know what's happening. Friend Supervac. Oh, that worked. The logic of Kirby is I can't pass through s'more cookies, but I can pass through these, uh... Like sugar... Cho these are like those chocolate straw sticks or whatever. God, I love that move. That is wonderful. What's this? Oh, I didn't realize I fell. I was too busy looking at what it was under me. Ah, oh, that's fun. Let's try that again. Okay. Stand here instead. What is this? Oh, I just have to use the broom. Bugsy, can you really not just clip this with your pincers? Could you not? Please. Alright, Bugsy, you're the one who's gonna get uh, fired at this point. Sorry, man. You can't do your job. You're gonna have to get closer, man. There we go. There we go. I was waiting for you to figure that out. Guys, please. Can I please just do this without doing my ability? Kinda looks like a no, uh, so I guess I'm just gonna have to get rid of my ability. 
Thank you. Wow, that is a little jank. Okay. If we don't have any more hitches, that'd be nice. This, I believe, is going to require What's-His-Face again. There we go. Yeah, the, the friends doing their little ability stuff on their own... You kind of have to let the game understand what it needs to do for a moment. These guys can't uh, exactly read a situation as well as you can. <laughs> is what I'm figuring out. Oh, this thing. The friend wheel. We are now the human centipede. Out of the way! Me and the boys heading to Best Buy to pick up new uh, the Super Mario Brothers 3D collection. Is there anything left behind back here? Nope, I can't even go that way. Never mind. Pretty solid at getting the two on this thing. Hi. Let's set up the Dream Palace. Let's replace Mark, uh, Marks with something different. He's been very useful so far. He hasn't done anything too crazy. You know, let's no, let's get rid of uh, Sir Kibble. I don't think we're gonna really need him anymore. Dark Meta Knight. Sure. I mean, he's kind of just a better replacement of Sir Kibble, so that works out fine. Oh, now this looks nice. Oh, the music's nice, too. What does it want from me here? Huh? 
So it wants me to have this. I guess... Parasol... Up oh, it wants the parasol ability. Uh, no. Let me have that. And then I'm gonna need a friend who has the fire ability. So, uh... Sorry, bonkers. But you're gone. Man, this, this game is savage in the fact that it makes you choose between your friends. You can't just have your friends, you gotta choose your favorites. And then you gotta have them die and replace them with new ones. Chumbrella. I like how Meta Knight, uh, Dark Meta Knight's just going ape shit on everything. <laughs> like, he has no temperamental control at all, and he's just killing anything on sight. I can use a warrior like that in this troop, because right now I have a jester. If you were to put this in like an RPG group, we have a jester, a magician, and a savage warrior, and then we have Kirby, who is baby. He, he is a good boy who does nothing. All he has is an umbrella. Thanks, Meta Knight. There's nothing up top, is there? I don't want to do all this and then find out there's something. Nope, there's nothing. Okay. Okay, we're gonna need to do this again. Get on it, Leo. There we go. I gotta say, this is a fantastic... I know I've been playing a couple other games just for funsies. Uh, to get away from Ghost of Tsushima for a bit because I've been going nuts on that game. But it really is nice to play some other types of games once in a while. <laughs> I think I should do that just so I don't burn myself out. Because that's kind of what I did with uh, Oblivion earlier this year. Is I just played Oblivion... For, well, in total I counted up how much I played Oblivion. I played that for... About like 16 hours, just like kind of consecutively, which really burned me out. And I'll probably resume maybe next year. Uh, probably not the rest of this year. I don't really foresee that, given what games are coming out and what I have in mind. But uh, playing something lighthearted like this, just a platformer, different game mechanics, it's, uh, it's very refreshing. I'll say that. Just as Journey was, and Turok was. 
Not to say that I'm stopping Ghost of Tsushima, I'm just trying to divvy up when I play it a bit more. So that I don't get uh, burnt out on it when I'm still technically in the first part of the game and I'm about 15 hours in. Here we go. Just stand here and hit him. <laughs> that was great. That was freaking amazing. Just killed Chef Kawasaki with uh, invincibility. That's how you beat the game. Nice. Number one. I don't think I got the puzzle piece for this world. Or well, this level. There's more adventure? Okay, yeah, it's an extra stage. Yeah, I got the switch. I didn't get the piece. Let's do this. Kirby, 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 do not fall! Jesus! Ah, oh, Gave me a heart attack there, man. I was like, I just started the level, I can't die now. You can get... I was gonna say, you can get the spider as like an ability, right? What does the spider ability do again? That's kind of gross, honestly. Yeah, I don't really care for this ability. This is kind of lame. Like, that's cool and kind of creepy, but... I'm... yeah, I'm not a fan of this ability, really. Well, that worked anyway. This is much better. I'm not talking a whole lot just because I'm enjoying the music and the atmosphere of the game right now. It's This is lovely. We got a water boss? Uh, kind of a... A gauntlet of sorts, I guess. I 
I am curious when the next uh, Kirby game is going to come out, because I know HAL is working on stuff, but they're kind of... They don't really want to do another one of these from the rumors I've heard around it. Which means that I'm not sure if they want to do some sort of spin-off game again, which Kirby... Whatever that Battle Royale Clash thing that they did on the 3DS and Switch was not great. It was fine, I understood, but not a whole lot of people cared about it. Or uh, maybe an actual 3D Kirby, which would be what uh, people have been expecting since the GameCube era. People have been waiting for like a full 3D... Like, like a Mario or Zelda kind of 3D open world Kirby game. People have been waiting for that for like 20 years, 25 years at this point. Push the button. Well, this is one way to do a side-scroller. Just have the level move by itself. Literally underneath you, not even just the camera. Oh, we got uh, Mr. Frosty again. Frosty, get... No! Stop eating me! My voice cracked from that. Okay. Back with ice. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. I do like the ice ability in this just because of how fast I can move through the level with it. It is very good for just blazing through a level. Which you can kind of do with Kirby because there's no real thing to the game except the platforming and the fighting. And if you can skip the fighting, you just got the platforming. And uh, you can beat the game considerably quicker if you don't focus on the fighting too much. Fighting's fun, but... It's not the main objective of the game. It's like Sonic in that regard. Or Mario. You don't really need to fight the enemies, you just have to get past them. Oh, this is a appropriate level for my current ability. And I've got Leo, so I don't really need to worry about fire, I don't think. So I was a little bored today and I skimmed through the... This video's been making the rounds just online for a couple weeks now. Mark's chill out, dude. Of, uh... Fellowship of the Ring. But... It... Every time Sam takes a step... Towards Mordor, he says the... Stupid line that isn't even really supposed to be a joke, but it's turned into a joke because of this... Uh... If I take one more step, this will be the furthest I've ever walked away from home, or whatever. And someone made a nine-hour edit of the first movie of that actually happening. And they're insane. But the thing is, I went and watched a little bit, I watched like 40 minutes of it today just to skim around and see like, did they actually do this? And yes, they did. And I then I went down into the comments and... Right yesterday, they had said, 
You, you, basically, you bastards, you did it. Get ready for part two tomorrow. And I'm just like, what kind of weird universal timing is this? I checked this video out finally after weeks of being told about it. And, uh, tomorrow, which by the time this comes out, this will have already been like a week or so. Uh, he's done two towers as well, doing the same thing. <laughs> These movies are already like three hours long. And then he's adding on this stupid joke on top of it, extending it by about an extra six or seven hours. The guy's got dedication, I gotta give it to him. I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, but goddamn. It's so stupid, I love it. I love the dedication and just the absurdity of it. Sorry, Leo. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, please. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, nope, it's... Nope. <laughs> it, it came back for a second, but my controller died. Okay, okay, Switch. I get the gist. Can I find... Yep, one second. Let me walk over to my PC and take off uh, the Joy-Cons off the sides. Oh, God, this is weird. Oh. Oh man, yeah, this is weird. Okay. I've also never really used them separated like this. I've always used the stupid controller that came with them for a dock. No, 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 no. Uh, bye marks. Very un- un- unsavory death for you. Just tossed to the side. Like dust in the wind. Speaking of dust in the wind, I saw Bill and Ted for the first time. I've seen... I've seen the second movie countless times. I have never seen the first Bill and Ted movie. And I gotta say, I like it a lot more than two, but... Two is still great. But that movie was just so good. I can't believe I've never seen that movie. It was fantastic. Be excellent to each other. In this dark and dreary year, seeing two brosive, happy-go-lucky doofuses do their thing is exactly the kind of nonsense I needed right now. <laughs> but, uh, speaking of Dust in the Wind, them using Dust in the Wind as, like, philosophy for Socrates was amazing. Alone the fact that they called him Socrates. But just the fact that that was- that shocked him. Saying dust it, we are all dust in the wind, blew Socrates' mind in that movie, and I loved it. That- As someone who studied plenty of philosophy, psych, uh, sociology, history... Seeing this extremely esteemed... philosopher... be reduced to basically a caveman was amazing. Now I'm curious how the new movie came out, because I know that the mo new movie was pretty good. But I haven't seen that. I'll probably see it at some point. I hope this is the right way. It was not the right way! Damn it, I missed that piece. Whatever. Hey! Give me the key. Thank you, little monkey. Hi. 
form a wheel again. Oh no, this is different. What is this? Friend bridge. That was really, really easy and kind of pointless. Oh, there's more of them. I see what's going on here. Kind of. There we go. Well, there's the piece. Well, I know what I'm doing after I'm done playing with this. I gotta charge my Pro Controller. That's the first time I think it's ever run out to me while I was playing a game. And I gotta say, using the Joy-Cons after so long, this is kind of weird. They feel very lightweight and not necessarily cheap, it's just, uh... It's weird to be so relaxed with a controller, because I got one in both hands, and I can just kind of do whatever with them. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I like just having a normal controller, but th this is doable. I could see getting used to this. If I had to do it, for, if my, like, my pro controller broke and I had to do it like this, I could see getting used to it, but... Yeah, I am glad I have my pro controller. This may be the last level today, I'm not sure. We'll see how I'm doing on time after it. I have no idea how long I've been playing this game, but it feels like quite a while. I made a lot of progress so far, and if I beat the game in like two sittings, that would be a little short for me. <laughs> I know this game is short, but not that short. And this music, man, this music is great. Oh, there's a ninja. Sorry, Leo. kind of yeeted myself across the map for some reason. I don't even understand what happened there.
I like how my wind sword is good against the fire shields. That typage, uh, that elemental typage is nice. At least they paid attention to that. I want to say there's something secret back in one of these areas, but I don't want to really risk dying. Because I am pretty close to dying. There's a ladder. I was like, that's the end of the level, but there should be more. There's the piece. Okay, let's get out of here. That went well. That was actually a very short level. I'm surprised about that. And number one. We got one finished. The first rival. That's a nice picture. Hi. This level was called Nature's Navel. Why do we go into Nature's Belly Button? Ew. Why is it all molten and lava -y? Clean that shit. You're disgusting. This is a boss. Sacred Square. Uh, it's only been an hour, almost an hour and a half, so I'll do this, yeah. I'm surprised how much I'm going through the game that seems like it would take hours. But it's not. Okay, that's a little concerning. My A button's having a bit of delay in the game. Like, right there. Okay, let me see if there's a delay. I'm hitting it at different angles, and it's working fine now. I don't know. That was weird. Uh, get rid of Bird on. I myself want a better power than this. Do I have any other attacks than just kind of swiping and stuff? I don't think so. Like this right now, that's happening with the wall and stuff. None of that's really... That's like delayed inputs. Like it's still working, it's just delayed for some reason. I don't know if that's just because I'm far away from my Switch. But I've never had issues with these Joy- These Joy-Cons are still the original that came with the Switch Day 1. And it's not drift. I've never had drift issues with the analog. This is just the A button. And it's working fine again. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, let me get this. Alright. That's much better. Friend Star. Oh, 
Now we're a side scroller. Oh, this music's great. No, 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 no. I wanted to collect the key... The, the puzzle pieces, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not doing anything. That'll do. Ah, there goes Dark Meta Knight. I didn't intend for that either. The star is very hard to control. Not with the controller, that's fine. It's just, like, I'm moving so fast and I don't know what I'm doing. You two are new. You killed my friends. <laughs> they were my buddies. All right, so let's reorganize. So you as a friend, you as a friend, me as this, and you as a friend. You know, I I want to say electricity is good for this. For some reason, my mind is telling me, no, go back. Let's... Like, how does electricity work? Because I'm just getting these little sparks. Can I see, like, my control scheme? Shake the controller? Oh, that's weird. Charge B. Up B is plasma needle. That's how it works. I have to build static electricity. <laughs> that's so dumb and so cool at the same time. Yeah. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, it's Meta Knight. Well, I guess I won't be using electricity then. Hey, Meta Knight. I'm actually pretty low on health. Oh, lovely. He split apart. I need health. Guys, you guys got any healing stuff on you? Please. Could you guys handle him for a second, maybe? I am about to die.
I don't even know what... Well, I know what killed me, but I don't even know how the rock killed me. But all right. Let's just head back up, guys. We'll give it another go. We'll show him. We'll show you! Oh, the Meta Knight is the strongest warrior in the world. So, uh, we're, we're gonna win. <clears throat> Alright, man. Show me what you got. There we go. Oh, Sir Kibble's down. Sir Kibble's fine, actually. Never mind. Oh. Guys, who was that? He looked like me. Well, that, uh... That was kind of tense. I was dying pretty quickly, but... We managed to finish him. goes that hard as well. Off to wherever it may wander. And something is happening, I guess. Oh. Okay. That's a parking violation, sir. Onward. Onward ho! On the Great Yukon Peninsula! I don't know. We're going gold digging. But nah, I think that's going to be it for me today. We got a lot of stuff done. We got Meta Knight. Got some other dream friends. And now we're at the Fortress of Shadows, Jam Bastion. I forgot this was a part of the game, honestly. Even the stoic Meta Knight has fallen prey to the evil influ evil enemy's evil influence, and now their foreboding fortress has suddenly appeared. Why have they come to this land? Why? Undeterred, Kirby and his friends charge forward with gusto. Yes, they use the word I like to use. Gusto! They did the thing. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm, I'm easily amused by words. Okay. <laughs> so... Let's take a look at it first. Well, that's going to be it for me today. Next time, we'll continue with Jam Bastion. And... I don't remember much of this place. I remember the space stuff towards the end of the game. I don't remember much of this. 
So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming out, and uh, see you next time. Have a good night. <laughs>